Hello, good afternoon. I'm back, Lutra FM, with another episode of the FN24 So Show Youth Only Say. Where you left us off last, we um, basically start the season really badly, but the last game of the episode we managed to win. So hopefully that means we're going to turn things around, but we'll see. Um, but we are playing Baldo next, so I don't fancy our chances, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'll be back in a sec with the first game of the episode. Right, so here we are. So as I said before, we have got Bordeaux next, um, which will be a very tough game. They just recently got relegated. They are one of the favourites to go up. But we'll have to see how it goes from there. Um, sorry. Um, yeah, so, right, so let's just crack on. Usual team. Uh, nice to have Kofi back in the team as well. Um First highlight is looks like it's going to us. Opposition has it though. Oh, that's not a good start. They've already scored in after four minutes. That's not ideal. I'm going to demand more ready. See if that'll work. Yeah, that's not that's not going to help our chances, right? Where are we now? We've got six, we've got five points. We're six points away from the playoffs here. Even if we win this game, we're still quite far away. As I said to you in the last season, Bordeaux and Mets are going to make it even harder for us to get promoted. I just feel like we're going to be in the division for a long time before we actually get out of it. But it's it's part of the fun, part of the journey. We'll see. I think eventually, if we do go up, it'll mean a hell of a lot more because of the fact that it took us so long. I think it might be a little bit boring if we got promoted straight away. Um, we just got to try and keep what we've got and improve in what we've got already. Hopefully through the young players coming through, which takes time because it takes them it takes the young players time to gel. Um, takes them to lit, go from being potentially good to having the ability to be good. Izanga is playing absolutely poorly here, so we need to take him off. Put the font on. Right, free kick to us. Bastion gives it to Thierry. Abdu. Good ball to Lafont. Lafont passes it to Galvez. Didot with the ball loses the ball. Didot does tend to lose the ball a lot. I've noticed that. Um, Abdu with the pass to Kofi. Beautiful ball to Lafont. Get in. Go on. 1-1. One, one. Oh, sod off. VAR. In my Georgia save, the good thing about the Georgia save, it's, I don't know if it's good or bad, they don't have, in the Georgian League, they don't have VAR. So that's quite nice to see. Um, it is frustrating though at times. The goal is allowed though, so that's good. Right, we've got quite a few knackered players now. So, um, Baxter, just, my dog Baxter keeps trying to jump up, so if you see me trying to swat him off, you'll know why. He has no concept of when I'm trying to do recordings. He wants my attention 24-7 like most dogs. Yes, hello, Baxter. Hello. Right. You're... Oh, come on, then. You can come up here for a minute. Hey, yeah, everyone. There's Baxter, star of the show. Oh, I think I've just broke the chair. Great. Uh... Oh, yes, get in. Oh, I don't think this one's going to be allowed. We're not that. We're not going to be that lucky twice. Oh, we are. Get in. Hello. Come on. No, I'm trying to re-record him. I don't want to kiss you. I'm okay. Thank you. I appreciate the love, but I'm all right. Ah, the struggles of trying to be a YouTuber when you've got a bloody puppy. Ah, oh, that's annoying. That's annoying. That would have been a great little win for us as well. Can't have it all though. He'll just go to sleep on my arm now. Bloody knacking my arm up. Don't lose. Oh, come on. That's This is your fault. This is your fault, Baxter. Not really much I can do about it now. Literally no time left. Oh, that's so annoying to go from 2-1 to 3-2. Your fault, eh? Your fault. Oh, you can't see him. I just saw you just hold on. There you go. 
Hello everybody, I'm back to the dog. Hello. Right, down you go. You've had your fun. Right, yeah, uh, I'll be back in a minute. We ain't got a game for 13 games, so you know the score. See you in a sec. I'm back for the next game, but before I start the game, I just thought I'd show you because I finally got it washed and stuff like that. Now it's a bit, it's a bit tight on me, so I'm only going to lower this camera a certain amount away because you don't want to see my belly stuck to this shirt. But uh, I got a so so shirt. I don't pull over. You can see my man boobs. Um, yeah, uh, so a nice little Diodora. Is it Diodora or Lotto? I can't remember which one it is. I think it's Lotto actually. And then uh, the badge. I don't know. I'll go a bit closer. Uh, this one's a legit shirt. I have been buying fake shirts, by the way, but this one is a legit one I bought on eBay. Well, I hope it's legit. I haven't actually checked. I assume it is. Um, because I just assume whenever you buy a legit football shirt um, on eBay that it is actually authentic. Um, unfortunately, I've made that mistake in assuming that. And um, I bought a Scotland shirt about a week ago, and then I got it a couple of days ago, and I checked, and it's not authentic. And then I uh, decided to report them because I don't mind people selling fake shirts, but you don't sell them on eBay. eBay is the place where we go to buy stuff, like authentic stuff. There's plenty of places to sell dodgy fake items. So I right, I, I feel like I rightly reported him. Some might think I'm a bit of a grass, I don't care. Um, and then he went back and forth to the point where he was threatening to come around my house, which I thought was hilarious. Um, but yeah, so in the end he gave up and... He's just going to accept it is what he is. I'm returning it. I've reported him. His eBay shop is investigated. So hopefully, the thing is, if he put it on the list and it was a replica or on the description or on, on the title, then I wouldn't have an issue with it because there is replicas um, on eBay. And that's fine because people know that they're not the, the genuine shirt, but people still, there's still a market for people buying fake shirts. I'm buying them. I'm not paying them like 80, 90 quid for a legit football shirt. I haven't got the money to do that. So I understand his hustle, but you, you can't do it on eBay because, like I said, people go on eBay because they trust eBay's process. So anyway, rant over, um, and we will get back on with the football, uh, with the the game. There we go. Smooth transition. Um, so, yeah, so we're playing FC Annecy next. Um, but, yeah, it feels quite nice, this top. It's a bit, like I said, a bit tight, but... It's tight on my arms as well, so it makes makes me feel like I'm a big like yeah, look at them. Gun show. <laughs> um yeah. If I did that in front of my girlfriend, she'd have just rolled her eye, rolled her eyes at me and told me to do one. But yeah, it's uh like I said it's not shirt. I wanna I'm gonna get the legit the legit so show shirt at some point in the next couple of weeks. I'm gonna bite the bullet and pay the full price. At least the money will go to the club. Um, direct if I buy direct from there hopefully I can buy direct from there I just hope that they've got it in my size because um, even when I go on their website and I use Google Tran and then it automatically translates it's still difficult to understand what they're trying to say so we'll see anyway nil nil um, yeah I watched the Scotland game last night very disappointing I just feel like we just didn't bother trying. I don't think we had a single shot on target as well. We just we're lacking pace. Um, we don't really have a good enough striker. No offense to Che Adams and that, but they're just he's just not good enough for international level. I don't think. But Scotland are kind of limited because they're such a small country and they don't they don't have the the money the money like the Premier League, so they can't attract the best players and the best young players coming through. A lot of the best Scottish players are probably going to England to then try and play for England, I suppose, or something like that. I don't know. There are exceptions, don't get me wrong, but um, yeah, it's just like I said, as as a proud, I mean, I'm half Scottish, I'm half English, half Scottish, but I'm very proud of my Scottish heritage. Um, so it's a bit, I really like the fact that Scotland's made another major tournament, but I just wish they'd never bothered because it was such a disappointing performance. It's just, hopefully, Steve Clark's had enough. And they'll either get David Moyes in or Derek McKins um, in. And hopefully they can play a little bit better football and do better as well. Get in. Go on, Baz. Oh, here we go. VAR. VAR, just go away. I don't know why all our players keep getting in offside positions. It's really frustrating. Oh, that's all right. It's allowed anyway. I'm still I'm still crushed about that loss to Bordeaux. To, to be winning 2-1... 
and then lose 3 2 with 10 minutes to go is so heartbreaking. Goal. Oh, good save. Bloody A. Ren Rene Adelaide, or whatever his name is, he's still playing football. I remember him being the next big thing at Arsenal. Let's have a look at him, actually. Let's have, let's have a look at his career. How did his career go? Obviously, not very well. Oh, he's only 29. So, he was... If it lets me do this. There we go. Yeah, so he was at Lens, and then he went to Arsenal. Didn't really do anything, even though he was touted as the next big thing there. Went to Angers, did all right there. And then he went... He got, he got a big move to Le, uh, Lyon. Didn't really work out for him. Went on Nice for a bit. On loan... And then he went to Troyes on loan. And then he went to RWD in Belgium. And then Strasbourg. And then FC Anesty. So he's had, an, he's had an okay career. Don't get me wrong. He, he, he managed. He played for... Um, didn't play for Arsenal. But he was at Arsenal. And then he went to Leon Did all right there. So fair play to him. And only 29 as well. I do like bringing players back from the dead, so to speak. Um, oh, we're 2 0 up. Oh, okay. Um, I always like signing Deli Ali in most of my saves, unless unless it's obviously a youth only save like this one. I just like bringing him in and just trying to play him as much as possible because I, I, I always rated him back in the day. Uh, a lot of people, if you've watched any of my FM saves, you'll know I'm a big fan of Deli Ali and I just really want him to have the last couple of years of his career now, whatever, wherever he ends up. Whether it's staying at Everton or leaving. Um, I just hope he goes on and does really well. Oh, that could have been a great goal. But I just can't see it happening personally. I think he'll probably retire in the next year or two. I'd love him to go um, back at Spurs, I think, as that is that. Or uh, a radical move. I'd love to see him go to Bayern Munich on a free transfer and link back up with Harry Kane and Eric Dyer. Um, so I think I think if you play with them two again, I think that'll bring out the best in him, really. We potentially have a third goal here, but we're waiting for VAR as usual. Yeah, actually, every time VAR's come up lately, we've we've had the goal out, so I can't really say too much. I've just forgot I've got this up here. All right, there you go. Um, Isanga is knackered. Right, we're 3-0 up. We've managed to bounce back after that Bordeaux loss. We're only one point... Well, we're neck and neck on points with Bordeaux now, actually, to be honest. We might get a consolation goal here, though. It's not as bad as when I was Rafe Rovers manager and I was 4-0 up the one game and then it ended up 4-4. That was... A, that, was that, that happened twice in one episode at Rafe Rovers. Unbelievably unlucky that was, um, but it was a really fun save. I missed that. I sort of missed that Rafe Rovers save. I might do it again on, as an offline save at some point because I've still got the Rafe Rovers shirt. So they cut, you know, sentimental to me. Rafe Rovers now. If uh, if if Scotland had called up Lewis Vaughan, they'd have won. They because he's a he's a good striker. He is they they should have called him up. Right, I think this game is going to end 3-1 by the looks of it. Unless there's any major surprises, but there we go. Good to see us bounce back. Uh, just give him a bit of praise. Right, when's the next game? Seven days. Right, okay, I'll be back in a sec. Right, so we're playing Orleans next. Uh... Just see how it goes from here. Hopefully another nice little win. Get us on a on a good streak. I think this the, the kit they're wearing is similar to the one I've got now. I don't think there's a yellow no, there's no yellow streak on the on the front of the shirt though. Um just to update you on the fake shirts, I get some more fake shirts in the next day or two, so look out for a uh, fake shirt video coming up. Hopefully they fit me. I've also ordered. I went on to a. I won't say the website, but it's a, it's a very. It begins with a D, and it's the same website we all use when when we want fake goods. Um, but I went on there and I managed to find a supplier of five XL and six XL football shirts. So I've ordered um, 
two lots of 5XL and two lots of 6XL XL mystery shirts in them sizes because even if they're not the best like teams or whatever, as long as they're half decent and they fit me better than the ones that I got the other day, I'm happy as Larry with them because they they'll fit me nicely. So the unfortunately the ones I got, even though they're supposed to be 4XL, they're more like a 2XL. So I'm hoping a 5 or a 6XL will fit me better. That's the hope anyway. I know it's my fault. I should be a lot thinner, but at the moment I can't. I mean, I am trying, but I mean, I say I'm trying, and then I'm drinking a bloody energy drink. So anyway, right back to the game. One nil down. Uh, I recommend. I'm not. I'm not trying to advertise this, by the way. I'm not getting any money, but. If anybody wants to lose weight and they want help in calorie counting and figuring out what's good for them, what's not good for them, um, there's an app called My Fitness Pal that's really good. There, you can get it for free, but but you're better off just subscribing to it. It's not massively expensive. I think it's like ten quid a month, but it's really good. You can you can you can scan barcodes on stuff that you eat if you just eat a lot of like ready meals and stuff. But you can also put in, for instance. Whenever I make something from scratch, like chicken and pasta or whatever, I put in homemade chicken and pasta and it'll come up with the general how many calories, how much fat, how much sugar, etc. on that. So and then and then also you can give yourself a target and it helps you with that. It tells you how many calories the max calories you can eat for that. So it's a really good app to be honest. The problem is when you stop putting in what you're eating every day, you kind of start slacking. Um Oh my god, what are you doing? We're 2 0 down and then you decide to get sent off. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, this one's a bust, isn't it? Alright. Go very defensive. Ooh, time waste when possible. We just gotta hope that we don't concede anymore at this point. Damage limitation. They're gonna get in a one hit goal um i'm just gonna basically not bother with the highlights now i'm just gonna put this up to the max commentary only because this is a game over we've just gotta finish this game as quick as possible move on we are slowly surely moving to the relegation zone now we are neck and neck on with the lfc mets of uh not doing particular old oh, Bordeaux actually you never know you might get back to back relegations imagine that two two big teams in France getting back to back relegations in the same seat in the same seasons right three now down come on let's hurry up let's get this done I ain't even gonna bother making any substitutions because I'm just gonna let, let, just try and get this done as quick as possible now Unless obviously it comes up on here and it's just easy to click on. I'm not wasting time. 4-0 down. We've had our chances though. 10, ten shots, 2 on target. But I, I assume a lot of them was before the sending off. Yeah, Popal's had, had a terrible game. 5-0. 4-0, sorry. Goal disallowed. Right, that's that done. We all pretend that never happened. Right, when's the next game? Okay, Jesus Christ, we haven't got a game. It's 21 days, I'll be back in a minute. So our next opponent is EA Gouingamp. Um, No idea if we'll beat him or not. We seem to be very inconsistent. We win one, lose one, win one, lose one, draw one, lose one, lose two, then win one. Like I said, not a very consistent team at the moment. Nine points from nine games as well is not playoff um, form. So we need to drastically wind our necks in and start winning games more. Uh, no highlights so far. No, nothing. This is going to be a boring game by the looks of it. Nil-nil written all over it. Let's see if encouraging will help. I'm really struggling to um, keep interested in offline sales on Football Manager. Um, 
I, I did a save in Sweden with the Swedish team called Bromma Kovar or whatever they're called, and then IFK Bro Bromma Kovar or I can't remember, I can't pronounce it name. Um, and then I did a save um, in Denmark with the Danish team that signs a lot of Ghanaian players, FC Nordjylland or whatever they're called. Um, I did a I did a year I did a season with that. I just I just can't seem to get past the first season without getting bored. It's really difficult to stay interested this year. I'm hoping FM twenty five is just a lot more interesting and what it brings um, to the table for for people because if it's literally the same, obviously we like the game as it is. We don't want it to change it too much because we might not like all the changes, but. It just doesn't feel fun anymore to play it. I don't know whether that's just because I'm getting older and I just can't, or I'm just burnt out because I feel like I've done every single save on Football Manager you can speak of. But yeah, it just feels a bit fun. I just realised while we're not getting any highlights, it's because I forgot to change the thing. Um, I'll do it now before I forget for the next game. Key highlights. Uh, right, there you go. Sorry about that, everyone. Oh, there we go. First highlight of the game. <laughs> I know we're now. Look, it's going to be them scoring. No, good tackle. Oh, they've still got it, though. This concerns me. No. Ah, oh, Liam Delap. What's he doing playing for the bloody Gruengamp? This better be offside. Oh, for God's sake. We're never going to get promoted this rate. We're, we're going to be lucky just to stay in this division the way it's going. Go on. Come on. Oh my god, that was a golden opportunity to get the equaliser. <sighs> See, inconsistent. We win one, we lose one. We win one, we lose one. Let's have a look. Yeah, win one, lose one. Win one, lose one, lose one. There you go, lose two. So at least it's at least it's slightly different. Let's try a team meeting. Yeah, challenge the players. Give them a kick up the backside. Right, when's the next game? Okay, we've got FC Mets next, which uh, which is going to be a big game because they are a big team, but they're also not doing very well. But anyway, back in a sec. Right, so we've now got um, FC Mets, like I said before. Um, this will be a big game because if they beat us, we're probably going to be down here in the relegation zone, depending on how the results go elsewhere. And then if we beat them, we'll be up here a little bit more. So away from the regulation zone. So we need to win this, really, uh, more than FC Mets. Well, no, FC Mets need to win it as well, actually. That's a poor statement. They're, just, they're doing worse than us, technically. They're one position below us in the league. No highlights so far. I have checked. I have got the highlights back on. This is just a not particularly good game. But this might change now, as it looks like... A highlight to FC Mets. Oh, by the way, I had a little. Oh, I don't like this. Oof, nearly. I had a little flutter on the Scotland game. I usually do um, booking trebles, so I'll pick three players in the t in the game to get booked. And I was, um, I'd have won two hundred and fifty quid off a five quid booking treble if Jack Henry got booked, and he fouled. He got done. He got. He fouled like. He had three fouls in the game. Um, he should have got booked, but he didn't. But yeah, I was wounded about that. That would have been the only thing to make it make it Scotland's exit slightly less hurtful. If at least I won some money on it. Um, but yeah, I didn't didn't win any. It's close though. But yeah, I don't recommend gambling. It's not a, it's not a good thing. I used to I used to gamble a lot, but I don't I don't know. I I literally pick very few matches special occasions like when Scotland play or mostly the reason why I do it from when Scotland play because they've got quite a few players that usually get booked like McGinn and McTominay and Porteous and players like that so it does make it a little bit you've got more of a chance of winning a booking to travel with that one Newcastle's got a good team as well if you want to do a bookings travel uh, Newcastle's got a few dirty players Yeah, but like I said, these days I don't really gamble that much. 
I'd rather spend my money on football, fake football shirts, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> At least I'm getting something for it. I've already run out of room in my wardrobe for all my football shirts I've got. I don't know where I'm going to put these new ones that are coming in the next couple of days. And I've ordered more, and I'm going to be ordering more. Um, because it seems to do well for content on here. It seems to get quite a few viewers. Oof. Right. Let's take him off. Let's take him off. Uh, yeah, LaFont usually does well when he comes on. Take you off. Let's take you off if we can. If we got anybody that can, no. But we can take you off. Put bossy on. There we go. All right. Hopefully, a refreshed team will mean we'll bounce on and. But I had a feeling this was going to end. Well, I'm not going to say anything actually because they might score it. Oh God! Here we go. Oh no! That's offside. Please. Ref, come on! Right, tactical change next after this game. This tactic's not working anymore. And we're going to end up getting relegated. We really need to push on here now and figure it out. I mean, you look at the match momentum; it's not looking good. Oh well, yeah, we might get a late equaliser here. Yeah, never know. Go on. Oh. That was anybody else other than a central defender that month on him. Right, yeah, tactical change coming up. I will figure it out and I'll be back in a minute with the next episode. Uh, sorry, next match in the episode. Right, so we're now playing uh, Nims. Uh, oh, sorry, let me, before I carry on, let me show you the new, the, well, not new tactic. It's the, it's my second tactic that I have. I'm just going to make sure that they get trained up to it. So when we swapped... When we did it last time, I think it was last season, we went from this formation to this one and it worked out quite well for us. So hopefully, I mean, look at all these lines here. It, it kind of hope, it kind of hope that, hold on, let's have a look at this one. I don't know what it means by this. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, okay, F played fairly poorly when paired. Okay, fair enough. Um, can I put anybody else on for, is LaFont in the team? LaFont's fitness is letting him down but we'll, we'll start him again instead of on his anger hopefully that will work out better right then let's see how we get on uh kofi in a more familiar position as a target man hopefully he'll use his skills with headering more in that role because he he does like to score a goal from a header but yeah we are in the relegation zone now and we've got to turn it around or this save might end because of the fact is that we might get sacked and it will be really annoying because since I've started doing YouTube saves I've never been able to achieve what I wanted to in the save before I've either got sacked or quit the save good interception Thierry did up let's hope this new tactic works well good that should have been a goal Kofi come on Right, free kick to us. Did not, did not seems up for it in this game. He's, uh, he wants to win this. Oh, again, Kofi, what are you doing? Still got the ball somehow. Got the ball again. Let's uh, try encouraging Mr. Kofi. Hopefully that'll help. He's had two golden opportunities to score. We've got an XG of 1.02, so he should have scored at least one of them chances. Oh, he's gone from a 6.4 to a 6.7, so that's good. Uh, their highlight, though, that's not good. Right, let's try and demand a bit more. 1.59 xg this is not good we need to be taking advantage of our chances because they will probably score in a minute good save pop out confident catch by him boots it out who's it going to uh went to kofi who misplaced the pass all right now in their goalkeeper called never stitch which is a great name by the way 
tackle. Oh. There's no way the goalkeeper was going to save that shot. 1 0 to Nims. The font's not playing particularly well. Let's try. Let's try. Oh, we can't fire him up. I'm going to fire him and Kofi up in a minute, see if that'll do anything. Gil with the ball, great tackle by Suzoku. I think that was Suzoku, I don't know. I don't even think we've got a player called Suzoku. I'm getting confused with the opposition. Penalty, potentially. I think it was outside the box, though. Oh, no. I stand corrected. Go on, then, Kofi. Kofi, not the best at taking penalties. He's a bit iffy. Sometimes he scores, sometimes he misses like that. Right, you're coming off, Kofi. I'm sorry, but you are. And so is Lafont. I've had enough. Right. Parsley, Paisley, you can come off as well. Lafont. Yeah, Lafont and Kofi can come off. They're playing. Oh, you watch now. They're blue. Lafont will Kofi will score now. Maybe not. His name was so nice, they named him twice. Becker, Becker. There you go. Becker, Becker. Bastion on a mission on his own here to get us back in the game. I'd love to see it. What a cross. Oh, Kofi, Kofi, Kofi. Offside anyway. Right, they're off. They've come off. Luke, Luke Matthews has not played well either, so we'll take him off. Uh, we just got to hope for this now. This new tactic is better, though. We're playing better. We've just been unlucky not to score, I think, to be honest. I think another couple of games. Um, we need to get the morale up again. Oizanga to Vaz. Nearly worked out. That's not playing well, but I haven't got anybody else to put on from him outside of taking him off, even though he's not been on the pitch that long. Good clearance, Thierry. Good tackle. Come on, get the ball off him. Do not concede another one. We can still get in this game. All right, come on. Pop out with the goal kick. Oh, pardon me, I do apologise. That come out way too quickly. I couldn't do nothing about it. I'm hoping they cock up here and then we get the ball off them. Wishful thinking, I know. Uh, no. <sighs> we're, we're, we're buggered. I'm really genuinely worried now that this save is going to be discontinued at some point because we can't seem to score. We can't seem to keep a clean sheet. This is quite bad. There we go. I need some energy drink. I zang with the ball. Can we get a consolation goal here? Ooh, we don't even get a consolation goal. This new tactic, look, I mean, you look at the match momentum, though. We should not have lost 3-0. I mean, we had a 3.85 XG. Jesus Christ, this is a terrible game. Yeah, they are not happy with me right now. Um, I hold my hands up and admit that we've not been great. But if you grant me one more month in charge, I promise things will change about that. Right, okay. We've got a month to save our job. So we've got to the 23rd of November, I think, in theory. Look at all these games we've lost in a row. It's ridiculous. So we've got Calm next. Um, so we've got like four, four, four games, potentially. We've got to win the next three league games without fail. So um, on that note, I'm going to call it a day for this episode. And then what we'll do is next episode, you'll either see me... Oh, oh, hold on. You'll either see me save my job oh my god okay this is there we go i'll just leave it here 
Um, you'll either see me save my job or lose my job in the next episode. So it'll be dramatic either way. Um, but yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with another episode. All the best. Bye.